All right, guys, you can see this is on a GE French door refrigerator. And right now we're working in the fresh food section. This unit has dual evaporators. So the freezer is at the bottom and that is also pretty, pretty clogged. So a clogged drain, I will show you how to actually unclog your drain properly. A lot of times you might just think you need to defrost it, defrost the drain that is, and suck the water out with maybe a turkey base or whatever. You get the water out, you think that's it. What you really need to do, you want to get to the bottom of it. Sometimes you do have to go to the back of the refrigerator and carefully remove the drain tube and check for any kind of clogging or restriction that could be in there so the issue sometimes you can also have with a clogged drain is a unit that is not cooling properly the reason for that your drain tube when it gets clogged the defrost water which is what we're dealing with right now is not draining so you have catch area where the water collects now when it freezes the heater comes on and turns that water or ice into steam just like the steamer that steam travels up and eventually clogs up the evaporator or the fan stops the fan from turning eventually you have a no cool situation so a clog drain can cause other issues other than water dripping or leaking on your floor. So, always check the drain area. Make sure it's not restricted. Then, move on back to the back of the refrigerator. Check to see if the drain is clogged. Got to have some junk in there. Right here. And did he take this one off? Look at this water coming out. Look at this. No, we didn't. We didn't do anything in the back. Okay. Several. Look at this. Wow. So GE now has these. These are called duck bill. They actually went stupid like Samsung. Look at the junk in there. I'm going to use your floor. Is that all right? We can wipe it up. Look at that stuff. Make sure uh, Allie do not get that. So, okay. Now I'm going to blow this out again. And we should be good with this one. So, yeah. So I think they actually have... They merge the drain tube as you can body. see so they have like a y and then you can blow it out now you see the steam i mean it's totally totally clean and clear you can pour some water the water should pour out slowly now we have a layer of ice in here which is at the bottom in the freezer and we're going to be getting that out but very crucial that you pay attention to all of that and be super careful when you're working around the evaporator coils that now the freezer you can see how bad this one is super bad and that can cause your freezer again just like your refrigerator not to cool properly so we're going to break this ice up with the steamer and we're going to get it all out of there and then we're going to blow this drain out. Now you don't have to have a steamer to actually do a good job. You can just use super hot water but the first thing you want to do is go to the back of the refrigerator, remove the back cover and pull the drain tube. Pay attention to how the drain tube is removed so you can get it back in the same position. You do not want to run your refrigerator without the drain tube. It has to be replaced. It has to be back on there. Otherwise, your fridge will ice up. You'll get a lot of frosting and it will not work properly. So, and I've been seeing more and more clogged drains with GEs since they changed their drain tube to that duck build design. 
a horrible design, if you ask me. Uh, pretty much like what Samsung is using. So Whirlpool used it for a while, and they had a pretty good uh, class action suit. Water leaking on the floor, and I think they stopped using it. So anyways, um, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Just kind of wanted to share that so that if you guys do have a situation where you need to get the drain unclogged, at least now you know, you have to get deeper than that. If you pour water in after you unclog and the water is pooling, your drain is still clogged. So you have to get back in there and redo it. Super, super hot water is totally fine. Make sure you unplug the fridge. Do not work on a unit while it's live. And you should be able to get that done. So, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And hopefully this will... Help somebody out. Up here. You hit it with a hammer? Yeah, I want to jump back in real quick and just say that I didn't show the dismantle or dismantling. Uh, the removal of the door, pretty straightforward. Well, the so freezer door, right, you got this far here. Yeah. two screws gotcha. on each side, and you remove those, the door pretty much comes off, and you just lift it off. Then you can remove the bins and you're in the freezer. The freezer cover is two quarter inch screws and you pull the panel forward and you're in. The Just be careful of the power, the fan. Be careful of the fan when you get into the freezer. And then the evaporator on the fresh food section, pretty straightforward, you have two quarter inch screws for the cover. Then the sliders on the side, you have two quarter inch screws, they pull forward, you remove them. And then of course, you're gonna have the cover in the fresh food section, five quarter inch screws. Make sure that the unit is not too frozen. Pour some hot water to make sure it comes off without any force and you're in and then you can deal with getting it defrosted and all and that should be it now what you want to pay attention to is that you don't force anything if you have to yank it is not good all right hopefully uh this helps and thanks again for watching